Google Flow VO3 tutorial for beginners. Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're trying to start with filmmaking with the ability to create amazing and beautiful videos with the help of a single prompt, you can do it with Google VO3 Flow. You are able to provide realism, have amazing creative control, and you're able to realistically expand on scenes. VO3 not only allows you to create video, but also generates audio. So you can generate scenes however you want and however realistic you want. So let's get started with using VO3 Flow. First off, head on over to deepmind.google.com and then you you're going to click on try and flow. Now, if you want to get started for free, all you have to do is click on create with flow. Once you do that, you're going to have to opt for a Google AI subscription. Now with a Google AI subscription, you're going to be allotted a certain number of credits and you will get a 30 day free trial. When you get a 30 day free trial, you can use up the credits that are provided to you to create amazing videos like these. All of these are videos that have been created using prompts. So how can you start building and how can you actually subscribe to a Google AI subscription? What is the pricing? We're going to be discussing that at the end of this video. So once you have availed a trial, which is completely free for the first 30 days, you're going to see this is your screen. Now on the top right, you have watch Flow TV. So you're going to click on that. And once you click on that, this opens up Flow TV. Once Flow TV is opened up, you will see different types of videos that have been generated. So you can actually scroll ahead like so, and you will see different prompts that have been entered and people are creating this content. If you want to see the full prompt, click on show prompt on the bottom. Once you see that, you will see the complete prompt. Now you can scroll ahead and see all of the different types of content that is being generated. Now, when you view all of this content, you will get an idea of what type of content you can create as well. This can give you a lot of inspiration as well as serve as a point to draw some of your prompts. So you can take inspiration from some of the prompts that you see over here. Now, to get started with VO3 and Flow, click on Create with Flow on the top right. Once you click on Create with Flow, simply click on New Project. So we're going to wait and we're just going to click on new project over here. Now, when you click on new project, you will see a prompt section on the bottom and then you have text to video frames to video. So you are able to expand on images as well as use a basic prompt. From here, you're going to enter a prompt for us. This is going to be a, a world where everything is made of gems a woman where everything is made of gems, people walking on the street. Now from here, once you've entered your prompt, you're going to see on the right side, you have a settings box. In that you have two basic options that you have to select. First off is the number of outputs you want, and then you have your model. Now with VO2, you are able to generate fast videos and quality videos, but with the help of VO3, this provides you with the highest quality as well as audio. So I want VO3. And once I've done that, I'm simply going to send out my prompt and I'm going to wait for my video to be created. So within a couple of minutes, our video has been generated and I'm going to click on over here to view my video. Now this video has audio as well. I can hear the footsteps of a person walking and the sounds of gems. And you guys can see this is an amazing video that has been created. Now from here, you can click on this download icon to download your video. You have three download options. You can download a animated GIF. You also can download the original variant that has been created, or you can download a upscaled variant in 1080p. However, if you are using this for filmmaking, you might say, hey, I don't want to just create one scene. I want to add to this. To add, just click on add to scene on the top left. And once you click on add to scene, you will see this screen over here here. Now from here, you're going to click on the plus icon and you have two options. So you can extend the scene that you have created, or you can also jump to another scene that you have previously created. So if you created a scene previously that you like, and you want to include within this film, you can add that, but I'm going to click on extend and you're going to add what happens next. So the video focuses on one pink woman walking and she walks into a emerald shop and buys a bunch of home items let's say 
So from here, we're going to select the model. And again, we're going to have to go with VO3. Now, when you select VO2 as your first model, you can use it. But when you have VO3 as the first model, you can't extend the scene without using VO3. So we're going to do this. And again, we're just going to fill in our prompt and wait for the video to be generated. Now from here, our extended scene has been generated. So let's take a look. And from here, it should be focusing on one person. But from here, we can generate our next scene, so on and so forth. Now, if you are getting results that you were not expecting, I always recommend going to Flow TV. The reason for that is if the results that you are getting are not what you expected to generate, then you should be able to find inspiration and you would be easily able to understand what are some of the key terms that you are not including. This includes the type of lens you want to use, the type of background you want to include, as well as how the shot should be taken, if it should pan out, pen in pen to the side so these are really important elements to define and using or taking a look at other people's prompts can help you ensuring that our, your prompts are able to fulfill all of the requirements that are necessary for a good video now going back into some of the other things we've generated we have generated this video of a guy playing video games and this is just what it looks like it's very basic and it's very realistic we did not provide any details on this so it just looks like a random video that you would capture then if we take a look at the abilities of the flow tool to expand on images here we have a video of the flow AI VO3 where we have expanded on a image so this is just the static image and then the static image goes to this and this is just a very nice way to convert your images into editorial videos as well now all of this comes at a price so Google AI has several different plans you can get started with Google AI Pro for one month without any charges after that you have two types of plans you have their pro plan as well as their ultra plan your pricing is is going to be different based upon the country you are in and Google AI is available in more than 70 countries so you can take a look at the full list of countries where it is available and if it is not available in your region currently you can always use a VPN to be able to access Google's flow AI tools so you can get started with amazing video creation like so if you enjoyed this video I would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video regarding any other video or regarding any social Social platform then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.